To all horse lovers, animal lovers, and friends, many of you know or have met Romeo, my beautiful, sweet, silly, goofball, Palomino, whose personality was identical to the horse Maximus in the Walt Disney movie Tangled. My neighbor, of Big Fork, Montana, agreed to keep an eye on my horses while I was 1,300 miles away. When he noticed Romeo hanging from the fence, he went fishing and left a message on my cell phone. Sir, this uh, You've got a horse that's caught in uh, the round uh, pen, uh, and it's not the big horse. Um, he's got his leg caught in there, and he's down on the ground. So you need to have somebody come and, and try to get him loose. Um, uh, I'm not going to be available. I'm just I was going uh, fishing today, and I saw him when I'm leaving in the morning. Uh, but uh, I hope there's somebody that you can call that knows what to do. Um, uh, but you need to do something because he's on the ground. Uh, uh, I hope you get this message. I'll try once more, too. Thank you. Bye. When the tears momentarily stop from the loss of my best friend and my mind wanders back to ability to just drive away from this scene, that's his driveway in the background of the picture, I'm just horrified. He went fishing, leaving Romeo thrashing around on the ground. He didn't call 911. He didn't knock on close-by, animal-loving neighbors' doors to alert them of the problem. He left me a voice message, which I didn't get till I woke up. And then it took over an hour for my efforts from over 1,300 miles away to wake up neighbors, friends, and relatives to rush to his side. After futile efforts from two veterinarians, his body succumbed to the shock, and he died. The vet said his only chance at survival was earlier intervention. He had no broken bones, necropsy showed no colic, no twist, just edema from his inability to absorb the IV fluids they were administering because his blood protein levels were toxically low from biological changes due to being on his side for so long. His organs essentially shut down. I search and search for the answer to what kind of person would just walk away and go fishing. What kind of person actually believes his ethical and moral obligation is satisfied by believing it was sufficient to leave a voice message to someone 1,300 miles away regarding an animal's horrific predicament without seeing to it that the animal receives the quickest help possible. Words cannot express my sorrow, my anguish for the suffering Romeo endured. <laughs>